And then, of course, I've talked about this one before. And she's encouraged students to use AI to brainstorm paper topics. It's so funny that they use the word brainstorm because there's no brain involved. You're not using your brain. The brainstorming is supposed to happen for you. You're the person with the brain in your skull. You should be doing the brainstorming. When you go on AI and say, brainstorm some ideas, that's not your brain. You have a brain. You do the brainstorming. And if you can't do the brainstorming, as I've said on other podcasts, if you can't do it, it means you don't know enough. Definitionally, you're not smart enough yet. So if you have to have a computer generate ideas for you, it means you don't know the content. So then we're left with, well, if I can just have the computer generate ideas for me, why would I ever need to know the content? Why would I ever need to read that book or study that those articles of research? If the AI does it for you, that's the brainstorming. It just does it. There's no need to brainstorm for yourself because your brain isn't required in any of this. You don't matter. The computer just does it. You, you're reduced to, it's like saying, you know, who are you as a person? I'm just someone who types letters and words into a computer and then the computer lives my life for me. That's you. That's you now. That's you as an educated person. Not someone who reads, not someone who thinks, not someone who discusses and debates with your peers, not someone who asks and answers challenging questions with scholars. You're someone who types into a screen and the computer does everything for you. That's who you are now as an educated person. Is that is that who you want to be? 